part two of my items I own on sale series and if you did miss the first one I'm gonna link it up in the cards and down in the description box below that one focused on jewelry shoes handbags accessories in general basically but today we're gonna to be talking all about the clothing items I own on sale so think of this as mini speed reviews of some of the things that I personally think are worth the money and I will have timestamps and links to everything I feature down in the description box below also just generally I really adore these brands and there's a reason and why I wear them on repeat and also before I dive into it this top was a Black Friday sale purchase for me uh, early Black Friday sale purchase and it is magnificent it was actually a impulse buy and I'm really glad I bought it it's a merino wool blend and this would be a perfect option if you're in the northern hemisphere and you want something a little bit more special but that you can wear day to day too and before we get into things, a reminder that I do have my Black Friday Cyber Week cheat sheet over on my website. So I'm going to link that in the top of the description box below if you want to go and see all the best deals. So let's start with knitwear. As I know many of you are headed into winter and I think if you are on the hunt for a new knitwear piece, this is the perfect time to buy because you're going to be able to wear it for the coldest part of the season. First one I have to mention is one of my favorite sweaters in my entire wardrobe. This one is from Jenny Kane and they have a blanket 25% off. I would say that my favorite pieces from them are anything in natural fibers. I do have their alpaca sweaters and I will say for me they are so-so. I love this one. It is a cotton cashmere blend. It's got recycled cashmere in it. Not itchy at all if you're someone with sensitive skin. And I also love all their cashmere pieces. They are a real splurge so that 25% off I think kind of sweetens the deal a little bit. This is in a size small, it's quite slouchy, and I think you can probably see just what a perfect fit it is on me. Uh, I will say from a maintenance perspective, this has held up so well and I've worn it over 30 times. I think I've had to use a fabric shaver on it once. It barely pills at all. So very low maintenance too, if that's a consideration when you are purchasing knitwear. Next knitwear piece is from La Saison Sportive, which is a new to me brand for 2023. And I absolutely love their designs. They're all really quite relaxed, very easygoing, unisex, and they use Australian merino wool. Unfortunately, they only ship within the US. However, if you have been looking at their sweaters, they do have a Black Friday sale on at the moment, and they're really beautiful quality. I mean, I can't tell you how many questions I've received about this sweater since I wore it and shared over on Instagram. I will link a review that I did down on my blog in the description box below in case you want to see a little bit more about how to style them, sizing notes, that sort of thing. But Another really good one, and I think that this would make a lovely gift, especially the Nell sweater because it's so oversized, it's kind of perfect cozy wear. Final sweater I want to mention is a striped wool jacket from Goelia. Now this is one of the first things I added to my wardrobe from the brand and it's gone on to be one of my most loved, most cherished and I also have it in the red stripe. This is in a wool and it's really soft. It has a hook closure so you can actually wear this open and that means it's really easy to fasten and unfasten. I love the little gold button detail. I just think very Parisian, very chic. I have this as a size medium. There's some kookaburras going wild outside um, and I will say I think it's a good fit on me and it does recommend in the sizing chart to go up a full size unfortunately it only goes up to a large so not the most extensive sizing range on this particular piece but really beautiful one and I did just want to highlight it you can get up to 30% off I think on a scaled discount otherwise 25% off using my discount code I think we need to talk about jeans and trousers next so denim do you know what I think after all of my years of trying out different pairs of jeans there's one brand whenever anybody asks me that I will always say I think is 100% worth the money and it's because they're the OG, Levi's. They know what they're doing. They've been doing this for so long. And my favorite style from Levi's is the rib cage jean. So these are a straight leg jean. They sit really nice and high on the waist. They do come in slightly different fabrications. So for example, this blue wash here that I have, which has that very 501 kind of look to it. These are rigid. They're 100% cotton, whereas the black and the white pair that I have have a little bit of softness to them and they have a bit more give so there's a little bit of variation in terms of the sizing across the different washes and I think that's pretty normal with denim anyway um, these are great if you've got a long torso if you have a shorter torso then I would recommend their wedgie jean which is a very similar cut and they do different inseams as well so I will show you on the cutaways the difference between 
the 27 inch inseam, which I've got in the blue wash, actually have the, the longer length in this too. The black is the 29 inch inseam, and then they have a full length version, which is a 32 inch inseam for tall girls. So we'll link all inseam options down below too, but these always go on sale and I just think the best quality jeans. I've worn and washed mine so many times. Quite often I only get to wear them once before I put them in the wash because they get absolutely grubby because of my kids. So absolutely brilliant. Then moving on to kind of more tailored trousers. So first up, I want to mention the way high drape trouser from Everlane. And I have these in a few different colors. I've also got them in the linen. I just think that these are such a beautiful pant, especially if you like that wide fluid drapey style. The cotton twill is really beautiful. It feels really nice and soft against the hand. And I just think they cut well. They come in a couple of different inseam options too. So again, great if you are more petite. You may not even need to get them tailored, which I think is wonderful. Uh, and I will say that they do actually make your booty look a little bit bigger too. So if that's something that you were trying to enhance, then you'll probably love these as well. Oh, and I will have all my sizing information in the description box. Um, and FYI, Evelyn have up to 50% off almost everything I think on their website. Next pair of pants, my facade pattern round wool trousers. I adore these, I wear them so much. I'm actually wearing the black pair right now. Uh, they're just such a nice fit. And I like the fact that they've got this really exaggerated uh, silhouette through the leg. I just find it really interesting and actually reasonably flattering as well. They come in a full length option. These ones are actually already discounted so I kind of wanted to highlight that. Black ones too. I have the black in the extra small and the taupe fawn in the size small and I will say I wish I had both pairs in the small because they fit a little bit better. My waist isn't quite what it was before I had kids uh, and I think I got a little bit optimistic on these ones uh, but yeah just really well made and you can put these in the wash so I launder them on a wool wash setting cold water and they come out looking great you just need to give them a good iron and that's wonderful because it means they're very carefree. I do love me a good cheap and cheerful find and these pants from H&M are definitely one of my new favorite finds from them. I mentioned these over on Instagram. You will have seen them in another video. They're a full length straight leg trouser that tapers in slightly towards the ankle. What I love is the elasticated waistband at the back. These are a viscose blend so they have a really slinky quality to them which I like. Also they don't fit extra tight at the waist so great if you tend to bloat a little bit throughout the day and that elasticated pound really helps with that. I find they do fit true to size so I've got them in my usual UK 8, US 4. They do a crop version of this as well if you are petite and I own both the crop version and now the full length version. You can tell they're just a really good pant. H&M have a site-wide sale. I think that the promotional offers may vary depending on what country you live in. That is definitely one of the pieces I would call out as one of the best finds that I've made from there. Next pair of pants, my Frankie Shop B trousers, and I featured these a little bit on my Instagram recently. I've been doing these weekly roundups, kind of capsule wardrobe edits, showing you how you can utilize singular items in your wardrobe and wearing them multiple different ways. Uh, very similar, I suppose, in a way to my newsletter, which if you're not subscribed to that, you may like to. I'm going to pop a link to that below. But these pants are brilliant. I actually recently took them to New Zealand with me and I got comments, remarks on how good they look. Uh, they're very high rise. So I actually would say that this style may not be suited for those who have a shorter torso because you're just going to find this too much uh, length through the crotch because you can see it's sort of a bit of a drop crotch in a way. Um, but I like the suiting fabrication. I think that they're very kind of carefree. I did get mine taken up because the small was long. I had the extra small previously, but again, just a little bit too snug at the waist and they were the perfect length. So I basically got these tailored to fit exactly the same as the extra small did on me and very happy with them. You could also, I think, Put them in the wash. I haven't done that yet but uh, I, I can't really see why there would be any issues doing that so that's always a win for me. And then the final pair of pants that I have here are from Dish and Dish I recall from last year did a site-wide Black Friday sale but these are included in just their regular sale so I do just want to call that out so you may find that they're even more discounted. These are the Amelia pant and they're a 10 cell and linen blend trouser so again they're really kind of silky and I do find that they crease but not as badly as a linen pair of trousers might. They fit true to size Again, I did actually get these tailored. And one thing I will say about Dish is that it's designed for tall girls. I have had to get every pair of trousers except for the Rowan pad tailored. And 
that's not a bad thing. I think it really allows you to customize the length and the fit, but it is just that extra step. So something to think about, especially if you are more petite. Um, but I think these are brilliant. And again, you can put them in the washing machine. You can see there's a real theme here. I love my clothing to look good, but also be practical. Um, and I do have a pair of denim shorts here, so I might just mention those now before we move on to some tops. I've seen these a little bit over on my Instagram. These are from Australian brand Jag, and they have 20% off if memory serves me. These are a great denim short with the lovely kind of tan contrast stitching. I like the fact that these are a nice high rise, but then they're also a really good length. And the way that they're cut, I think is very flattering. They come in a few different washes. Um, I just quite like this for that contrast element. The one thing I will say about this white denim is that it does tend to crease up a little bit. So these are short that I would kind of reserve more for casual attire, but I do think they look really chic worn with a blazer, which is one of the ways that I have styled them. Uh, really comfortable to wear and also a good wash and wear style. Then we have a couple of tops, which as I mentioned, this one I am wearing is on sale. But again, okay, I know I said those trousers are a brilliant find from H&M, but I think this might be my best buy ever. It is a ribbed knit top not too dissimilar from the ones from Kate. It is really thick and sturdy. It's got a lot of structure to it and actually comes in a few different colors. And I saw it's on sale and I already ordered the black one as well because why wouldn't you? I just think it looks really good. I did read from the comments that if you are bustier that this might not be the style for you. So I wanna call that out. And it does also run a little bit on the larger side. So I size down to an extra small. But keep in mind that I've basically got nothing going on here, so I really didn't need the extra room. It's really nice and form-fitting, and I just think it looks really chic with a slip skirt or with a pair of tailored trousers. <laughs> Assembly Label is one of my go-to brands for basics, and I think they're extremely underrated in terms of value for money. You get a really high-quality product, and I think it's in line with some of those more premium brands. This is one of my favorite items from them. So easy to style, the classic Breton, and it's just a really lovely cotton that has a little bit of heft to it but not too much it feels really quite kind of fluffy and floaty in the hand I don't know what better way to describe it and it has that kind of terry toweling in it as well so you can kind of see it's not flimsy at all which I really like does fit true to size for an oversized fit I've got AU8 but so many good basics I have a beautiful linen suit from them I have a really lovely little wool mini skirt silk trousers I mean I just think that their cuts, everything are so on point and definitely one of those brands that I keep an eye on their new arrivals emails. Lily Silk always do a Black Friday sale and I have a few pieces from them that I absolutely love but just wanted to call out their silk shirts. I really love this one which is in the beautiful Silk Shard Mousse. It has that lovely sheen to the fabric which you can probably see just from me doing this. This is in an off-white with a little bit of a yellow tinge to it and it does fit very oversized. I have the size small here. Again, really nice one to wear with jeans if you want to dress them up but a great office wear staple. I also forgot to mention this little dish bustier rib top. I always get questions whenever I've worn this and this is also included in the sale. Comes in a few different options. I quite like their rib knit tops and I've gone on to add a few others to my wardrobe. They do fit true to size. I've got the AU8 in this. Final top to mention is from Madewell and it's currently in the wash. So you're just going to have to deal with a cutaway and a picture on screen. But I'm really into their baby rib tee. I think it is very kind of leaning in on that 90s aesthetic we're seeing a lot of at the moment. But it is just such beautiful quality cotton. I also have one of their ribbed tanks as well, which has become a real go-to staple. I just think that they do these easy basics really well. We're getting to the end of my rail. Next are skirts and I wanted to highlight this one from Quince. Now I am filming this a little bit in advance so I'm not 100% sure if this exact one is on sale but it was included in their Black Friday preview so I'm crossing fingers that it will be one of their daily deals but either way I mean it's such a steal. I think it's 50 US dollars for a silk skirt that is washable. I have washed mine and they come out looking like new so a great piece if you have been looking for a little slip skirt, really comfortable and endless styling opportunities. They fit true to size two. I have mine in a size small. A couple of pieces from Mango, starting with this beautiful pleated skirt. So many of you love this when I shared it on my Instagram. Has an elasticated waistband. And I think this really leans into that gray monochromatic look, which is a real trend at the moment, uh, but very, very effortless, easy. And I love the way this feels on the body too, being in a jersey. 
I think you technically could go down a size. I have a size small, but I think I could do the extra small because it's not tight or fitted at all and it kind of could be worn a little bit lower down on my hips if I wanted. I do also have a dress from Mango I wanted to mention, which is beautiful. It is in a cotton poplin and very, very similar to a dress from Matteau, which is a beautiful Australian designer, but with quite a high price point. Another little cheat item is I actually purchased this one on sale during the Black Friday previews, but this one is from Unison and it is a really lovely pale sage mini skirt in cotton. It has this beautiful twill texture to it. It reminds me a lot of a skirt that I have from Ruby. It was called the Regazzo skirt, I believe, and that just would never fit me now. It's a size six and I'm definitely not that, um, but I have continued to keep my eye out for it and it's just never sort of popped up in my size um, online. It's also a brand that's not readily accessible here in Australia except from their New Zealand online store, so buying old season pieces can be a little bit tricky. Anyway, I digress. This reminded me a lot of that skirt, which was why I was so drawn to it because I love that one so much. It has the D-ring belt. This is from Unison and actually Unison was French Connection, but it's being rebranded in case you're curious. Really lovely quality and this was 25% off if memory serves me. So uh, a great little number and looks chic. It would look so good just with this top that I'm wearing. Then we've just got two jackets, starting with this one here from Dish, and you'll have to excuse the tags because I have worn this, but I will sometimes be trying on different things and then I'll leave for the day and not take the tags off. Tell me if you are guilty of doing this too. Uh, this is the Rowan blazer, so it's part of their iconic Rowan suiting line. Exact same fabrication as the black trousers that I bought a while back. So one thing to note is that this fabrication is prone to pilling. So I would recommend having a fabric shaver, which I will also link in the description so that you can give it a tidy up. So that's really all it needs to look fresh again. I think the cut of this is perfect when it comes to that relaxed fit. It's not that extreme level of oversized fit that you might get from something like the Frankie Shop B blazer. Um, it's fully lined as well, which is great, and does come in a few different colors. This one here is the shade cream. There you go. Um, so that's beautiful. Finally, this little liner jacket from Evelyn. I have to say I've got so many pieces from Evelyn that I want to recommend but I can only do a handful. Their white hygiene's brilliant. I think if you're looking at denim, Evelyn is another one that I really like. I just wanted to call out a few things that I've spotted that are kind of newer styles. If you want to see some of my older favorites you can always go have a little look on my blog. I love their rewall coats as well. But anyway, this jacket here, I think it is 50% off. It is final sale, so I do want to call that out, but I think a really great number if you're looking for a jacket that can be worn both in the transitional seasons, but also as a layering piece in the colder months. I will say because the style is quite boxy, that it works best under jackets that have a dropped shoulder, so no princess seams, because otherwise you're gonna really struggle to fit this underneath. It is really quite thick, and you can see it's got some structure to it. I love the way it tents out at the back as well. It's a little bit exaggerated and modern feeling. It's not over-designed. It feels very approachable, which I like. It also has this dual zipper, so it zips up, and then you can pull the zipper up as well if you want, which is great. Uh, and yeah, fully lined. It does have that padding in there. This is in the Renew fabrication. A really beautiful option. I have the size small for an oversized fit. So that concludes part two of items I own on sale. I hope that you found this useful. As mentioned, I kind of just pulled together some of the best bits of what I own, but so many more of my favorites are also on sale. So I think a really good opportunity to pick up those wishlist pieces if you've been eyeing anything up, if it's within your budget, if you need it. If you don't, you know, Boxing Day sales are really just a month away, so <laughs> always wait because they tend to do better and deeper discounts then. As always, I'm so grateful that you chose to spend some of your day with me. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here and you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you back. There have been a few additional videos this week, so I hope you've enjoyed seeing me pop up in your feed a little bit more frequently. And on Monday, I will be sharing with you my gift guide, which is going to be quite a condensed format this year, and I hope really helpful. But yeah, that is it from me. I hope you're having the most beautiful day, and I will see you again very soon. Thanks again for watching. See ya. Bye.